I have news. Who? Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Son, we... Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we then should... it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, dear. I know you mean well. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. No, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fretting. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. 
What the? Hmm. No, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. We may need to work together on this one. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Guess we'll have to blast our way out. That barrel by the gate should do the trick. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic ace here. Oh, all right. Might have earned that one. Switching arrows! Well, I can see 
why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. Oh, flammable. Another oil spill. This oil spill. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear.
It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. It's open.
Heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. <laughs> ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That worked, shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Where have they got the third one hidden away? Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares! They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them!
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yugnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. It's more number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would you need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. So you knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite <laughs> enough of it, Heine. <laughs> We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. Right, let's get that wheel turning. Let me know if I can help with that. Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? Should help it stay close. That's a start. Oh! 
You're on fire, Kratos! They will fire! <laughs> I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the Bulky. Sure, it'd go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> Hey, Bunker! Come on! 
Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, what you're nattering, you snake sucking your hand milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cable. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. Gonna break you down for parts and sell your hide to Credo! Incoming! Above you! <laughs> Like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Well, you could start by burning off this. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Kinda need to be up here to use. 
Promising. Turn it. Copy that. Got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other <laughs> stuff. Once more. the thing can move. That's why we're up here, remember? Finally! Now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what?
grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on. Smell trouble. Hey, bunk chair! Come on! Ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen you so... Reverend. Are Why? you nervous? No, fuck you. Yeah. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. All fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady. What does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece. So once she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll fin you that tale. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good! Crank it! She needs a final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your homos forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. I speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. 
Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new cow home without you. Look! We got volunteers! That's the stuff! It's the first time with a spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon I've fought to learn. What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? Couldn't have put it more forebodingly myself. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a tour. We got volunteers! Find you! Look at What you doing? Put the spear to her paces already! Nicely done. Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a spot to learn. What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? Yeah. I can just put it more supportingly myself. Looking pretty battle worthy to me. 
Let's see if she can help us get out of here, too. Up there, see that weak spot? Jam one in right there. Trust me, huck a spear right up there where it looks weak. That's it! Now do the thing! Come on! Blow it up already! Sees what I sees up there? There you go. Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. There, left right. Ah, oh, lick my face. There's eyeball nests all over. Get your throwing on it. Yeah. Good there. Get the gang there. Right there, left right. Better take out that nest, it'll be Eyeball City out here! <laughs> Stop pumpering around and smash that thing before more things come out!
Setting off a spear in anything like that's a sure way to alter your circumstances on the right quick. bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over their ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> Next lesson, take note of that there, watch him, Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on.
Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. Yep. favorite to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly bugs. Maybe those Grim will take him down.
enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much care for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key 
to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you.